Hey guys, I'm Rehana. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use deep link in navigation component in Kotlin. Let's start. In Android, deep links is a link that takes you directly to a specific destination within an app. The navigation component lets you create two different types of deep links, explicit and implicit. In this video, I will explain implicit deep link. Let me give you an example of why we need deep links. Sometimes you want to make it easy for the user to get a specific part inside of uh, your application without having to several clicks from the start screen to get there. I assume you have an online shop application and a user wants to see a product with a link. If you don't use the deep links, the user should navigate step by step from the main page of your shop to the product that they want to see. But with deep link, a user can directly open and see a product. In short, a deep link allows the user to click from those other locations and get to those deeper part of your application. So here, as always, I have a new project. And first, I should add some dependency in the build gradle app level file so here and let me add here create and here let me add vbonding feature Okay, good, and sync it. Okay, sync it done. And also, uh, for using deep link in our application, uh, we should use uh, Safe Earth plugin. So let me add this plugin into this part. And also, I should add class path into my build gradle module level here. Okay, let's sync. Okay, it's done. And I want to have two fragments here. Uh, first fragment, uh, like my main screen of my shop application, uh, and second one for my specific product. So let's create. Okay. And the other one. Okay. Let me just delete some unnecessary code here. Yes, it's done. And also for my another fragment. Okay, everything is good. Just also let me add some text view here. Here it has a text view. So here just let me add ID for this text view. TV product name. Yes, it's good. And set gravity here. Okay. Yeah, I want to change this one as well. Product name. Okay. And for my uh, main fragment, it doesn't matter. You can just show a message here. And also let me 
set gravity here. Okay, great. So the next part, I should create my nav graph here. So right click on the rest folder and select Android resource file. And first in the resource type section, I should select navigation and here put my nav graph name, like main nav. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. And here should add my fragment. Okay, great. Okay, guys, here I should uh, set two things first, argument and then deep links. So, for first, uh, in this fragment, I want to show my product name. So, product name, and I want uh, to have it as a, a string. And here in the deep link part, I should create a link. So, for example, Android geek co dot slash product slash. Here you can see, uh, show me the argument part of my link. So uh, I should select this one and then add it like this one. Here our work is done. Uh, let's go to main activity and add a fragment host here. Let me change it to fragment container view. Yes, this one is better. And here there is a last step. First, let me create view binding here. container and then false remove this part binding dot root and I should create uh, another overwrite function on view created yes and let me here create uh, a variable for accessing to my arguments so private uh, guys if you don't know anything about uh, how passing data with navigation component or even if you don't know anything about navigation component please check my tutorial about navigation component and also about past data with navigation component I put uh, both link into description so uh, strongly recommended to see uh, this video for getting more information okay let's continue arcs from product arcs yeah this one by nav arcs yes great and uh, and here let me create a variable product and in this part i can get uh, my product name as a variable and here i can get my product name as an argument and then show a specific product or here I just want to pass the name and show into a text view you know which the static part you can do everything that you want you can set, send it into API and get product info and then show your product info in your XML okay let's do it product name Yes, args dot product name. Yeah, great. 
let me check why oh here I created the variable as a val but it doesn't correct it should be var okay binding that my text view and put it the name here okay guys here our application is done and we can see the result of our code let's see okay guys here you can see the result of our code uh, for testing a deep link we should create a link uh, something like that here we created so uh, I can do that in the SMS application or not. So please let me create a link like that. Okay. And then here. Dot co slash product slash for example phone x18 pro okay i send it and here i have a link so when i click on it ask me open with the chrome or our application so i choose uh, this option and here you can see for example, uh, in this part, I mean in the production name, you send the production name into your API and get response of your product information and can show in your application. So just that guys, uh, the video here is done. Uh, if you have any question about this video, please feel free to ask. If you are new in the channel, please subscribe my channel, like my video, and leave me a comment for me. So all of them encourage me for recording more and more video. Have a nice day.